having the slopes almost all to yourself. Here there's a sense of freedom that's hard to come by in the Swiss Alps these days. Just 20 kilometers of ski runs, two chairlifts and no plans to expand. That's how Anton Kalberer likes it. For over half a century, he's run the small family-owned ski resort San Heinzenberg in the Grison. At age 92, he still hits the slopes himself. I'm not good. I ski like I did 50 years ago. <laughs> Every day, Anton Kalberer enjoys the stunning view with his grandson, Dennis. Anton's father purchased the ski resort in the late 1960s his 13 children all pitched in. Everyone emptied their bank accounts and put the cash into chairlifts. There were a few hundred thousand Swiss francs from the bank. But everyone helped, otherwise it wouldn't have happened. The resort has simple slopes and a hill for sledging. That makes it a favorite with families in particular. Many of the guests are regulars. It's the best, not overrun with people, and you can let the kids jump around. It's small, but nice. It's not so crowded, and it's very familiar. I hope they could queue up, but it's very difficult, I know this. At an elevation of 1,700 meters, there's a restaurant and guest rooms. Dennis has been in charge of the kitchen for three years. He spent much of his childhood up here. Looking back, it was a dream for me. In the winter, we drove up here almost every weekend and went skiing. The mountain is still his home, and his grandfather is his role model. He's clearly the boss up here. For me, he's the one who says what's what. Dennis wants to preserve the place he loved so much as a child, even if climate change means there's far less snow in winter. So he says you always need to come up with something new and be creative. Yes, it's certainly not easy right now. This year has been extremely difficult for many. We couldn't ski here at the start of the season, so that was a problem. But at least we had the sledding hill. We made sure it was up and running so people could use that. In the late 1990s, the family bought a chairlift for a symbolic franc from a larger ski resort that no longer needed it. But otherwise, little has changed here. When it all gets a bit too much for the senior manager, he withdraws to what he calls his concert hall. As larger ski resorts struggle to find ways to cope with climate change and become more sustainable, he's happy with his approach of low-key family-orientated tourism. We always took care of the landscape, building only what was necessary. No huge, ugly concrete blocks. So basically it's like it was 50 years ago. Except for the snow. There's no longer enough. Still, Anton Kalbera is sure his grandson will think of something. <laughs>